Well, a Navy veteran, a former marathon runner, and also a father from Florida is riding to raise money for a deadly condition. He founded a group 20 years ago after his 23-year-old daughter tragically died from sepsis. Carl Flatley traveled more than 200 miles and raised $35,000 last year to bring awareness to this condition. This year, though, he has much bigger goals. So Carl is with me now to talk about that journey and how many of us can help. So good morning. I commend you for the work that you're doing. Um, you start this ride this weekend. After a little delay, you weren't feeling that well. How are you doing? Uh, much better. If I hadn't run over my leg, I would have been doing real well. But uh, in planning for the trip, I kind of made a little mistake. But yeah, I'm looking forward to this weekend, although it looks like a lot of rain. Uh, but this trip's a little bit longer than the 200 I did last year. Uh, this one will be probably 2,000 miles. Wow. All right. That That's serious. That's a lot of work. Um, I'm, I'm glad that you feel up to it, and I'm sure that a rain is not going to get in your way if you actually ran over your leg and you're still pushing forward. So congrats to you. Um, you know, tell me more about your motivation. You, you know, your daughter, she had a diagnosis. She battled sepsis. She ultimately died because of this condition. Um, I'm sure that that is all the motivation you need to raise awareness. Well, it is. Uh, I was an endodontist, a dentist. I practiced for 20 years, and I had never heard the word sepsis. And my healthy 23-year-old daughter, Erin, went in for a simple hemorrhoidectomy on a Thursday. And the next Tuesday, she passed away from something I had never heard of. Yeah, we're And amazing, amazingly enough, and this was 20 years ago, since then, over 7 million other people in the United States have died. And there are about 16 million survivors. So we don't have a handle on this problem. Clearly not. I mean, she's beautiful, and thank you for sharing pictures. I saw her, you know, as a little baby. Um, why is it that this condition isn't diagnosed and treated in an effective way? Tell us more about it. Well, it's difficult to recognize early on because it mimics so many other diseases, and people don't know anything about it. When I started this in 2003, there was only 17% awareness. Mm -hmm. Now, because of sepsis Alliance, we have about 65% awareness. But that doesn't mean people know what it is. They've just heard the word. Mm -hmm. People need to know what this is because 87% of this starts in the community. You don't get this in the hospital. You get this at home. You get this from any infection, any cut on a cut, tattoo, the flu, COVID. The people who die from that die of sepsis. Wow. It's a serious problem. So your goal this year, as you mentioned, you're going to ride 10 times as far as you've done in the past, and you're hoping to raise $100,000 for Sepsis Alliance. Tell us more about this organization and, and how you're raising awareness and really maybe keeping people alive ultimately. Well, we were forced this year to have Governor DeSantis to sign a declaration uh, declaring Sepsis Awareness Month for September, along with 29 other states. So we've grown when I started this. Uh, we had one sponsor in my retirement plan. Now we have about two dozen sponsors, major sponsors, and I'm still in it. So, you know, at my age, you know, uh, we're, you know, some, I feel like I'm 35, but my mind says I'm an idiot for doing this, <laughs> but uh, it is for a great cause. And once we raise the awareness, people know what it is, they can get to the hospital soon enough so that they don't die or become disabled because a lot of people lose their arms and legs. Mm. This is a terrible disease. So I've already started to raise money. I know I'm going to get there because uh, my daughter's foundation is putting in 25000 I'm putting in 25000 And so we're trying to get the public to be aware to, you know, raise this money to a 1000 or to 100000 because all the good works we've done is incredible. And I didn't realize this organiza organization would be this big, but it's incredible the lives and limbs that we've saved. I'm so proud of this organization. Wow. Hey, well, you keep up that good work. And, you know, I do want to point out that you said you never heard of this condition until your daughter got it. And then you actually got it and you survived it. Can you can you look at maybe the difference as to how awareness for you probably saved your life? Well, that's exactly right. She did save my life because I got sepsis. I, I knew something wasn't right. And I had all the symptoms. I went to the hospital. Doctor said, you've got an infection. Uh, he said, I'll give you some antibiotics. You can go home. And I said, I don't want to go home. He said, what do you mean you don't want to go home? I said, well, I'm concerned about sepsis. Mm -hmm. He said, you don't have to be concerned about sepsis. I said, I'm not going home. And it's a good thing I didn't go home because I was in the hospital for 11 days, mm -hmm. antibiotics for 40 days, and I survived. 
because I knew the signs and symptoms. So everyone out there has to know the signs and symptoms. And if nothing else, when you go to the hospital, say, I'm concerned about sepsis. You right. tell everyone I'm concerned about sepsis. I think that is, you have to advocate for yourself. You know, even when the doctor says no and you feel something's wrong, you need to say yes and force that. So it's sepsis.org is your organization. There right. you can make a donation. Good luck to you and um, nurse that leg and know you're not crazy and you're going to make it and raise every bit of money that you're looking for. So thank I'll, you for I'll your be coming. Work. I'll be coming through Jacksonville. I'll wave when I go through. Oh, please do. And maybe we'll catch up with you for sure. Okay, very Safe good. Safe travels. Scott. All right. Thanks.